Hey, what's going on guys? Car Review Guys here. My name's AJ and today we are going to discuss should I buy JR Garage? Link in the description below. If you guys don't know them, I'm sure you guys do. They have a 2013 Maserati MC available for sale. I've kind of talked to them back and forth, you know, debating on buying it, you know, asking some details about it and I need you guys' help. I need you guys' help. So, before we get into that topic though, let's take the R8 out. Let's go ahead and go do a little bit of car spotting. Maybe see if we can get any, you know, outrageous views because sometimes there's some funny reactions. Always hard to get on camera, of course. But, let's go try to do that. And then, as soon as we get back home, let's go ahead and talk about this topic. So, yeah, without further ado, let's roll. <laughs> color is probably not going to turn out for you guys, but the blue on this Mustang is pretty sweet actually. I really like it. And then we do have a Camaro behind us, which is kind of hard to see. But uh, yeah, that blue is like really, really sick. I really like that blue. So, yeah. so I get the camera out. Now he's not revving it. I don't know. I'm kind of triggered. He was supposed to be revving it. He was just a second ago, but whatever. I tried for you guys, but it's not happening. So yeah. The life of a Tesla owner. Sitting there charging. Yep, yep, yep. What a jelly bean. <laughs> I triggered you guys because I used a Stradman word. There you go. Wow, I have you guys cars on cars here. So first off, we come over here and oh, there's a Kia Stinger. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> I triggered you, I triggered you. Yeah, 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 it's ours, it's ours. But if we go from here over to here, I'm going to go over there in just a second because I'm staking you guys slightly. It's probably terrible to see. Yeah, you can't see anything, at least on this right now. There's another car over there, so I'm going to ride over there in just a second for you. So as we say goodbye to the Stinger in the mirror, as promised, we're going over here because, well, quite frankly, this is a car channel. So I'm going to show you another car. But it's not just any car. Uh, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you have seen it before because it is right here. It is an Aston Martin DB11, which is right there. So let's get out for just a second. Let's take a gander at it. So we got the R8 right there, and then you guys have the Aston Martin right there. So like I said, this is a doctors which my fiance works for and yeah the interior is sick on it so they told us that they would be here and to come check it out so that's exactly what we're gonna do it's got red leather interior that thing is sick i love the color on this car hopefully you guys can get a better lighting and boom all right yep moving on in the vlog so just as we were just about to hop right back on in the car, the lighting in here is so perfect next to this Aston Martin. So I'm gonna grab some pictures, which are gonna be on the screen here, 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 and here. And yeah, so check those out. Let's roll. A lot of you are gonna get triggered, but I don't know a lot about Porsches, but this Porsche looks really sick. So yeah, I mean, obviously turbo, but I mean, other than that, I don't really know. You guys comment down below, but it looks sick. So I forgot to show you. So yeah, there you go, cool. So we're out here in parking lots actually looking for an AMG GT um, because I know somebody that knows somebody that has one of those that works at this hospital and I can't seem to find it. He probably didn't drive it today. Um, yeah, because I mean we got you know some Chevys there, Infiniti, Ford, I mean you know, is what it is. Uh, I can't find it. I'm sorry. I know that you guys are very disappointed uh, that I couldn't find an AMG GT, but I couldn't and I can't because I looked so it must be in his garage so anyway all right guys so we're driving through kind of like the heart of WKU here which is in Bowling Green Kentucky and there's really not that many kids out like there's like a couple like here and there but like not many so yeah like I guess we'll just have to see uh, what's happening because there's like not much going on so whatever but yeah Bright note, we got a C6 Corvette right there. All right, because this video was terrible, uh, here we go, launching it, let's go. Go, 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 go. Bye. 
Bye, Felicia. Bye. All right, backing it underneath the lift. Let's tuck her away for today. Oh, that rhymed. Just saying. Perfection. So those of you that stuck around for today's video, I appreciate you. Uh, you definitely bared with one. It was not a great video. I'm here to admit that. I know that. You know that. We're not even, I mean, you guys can type it away below. I really don't care. You guys did get to see an Aston Martin and you got to see an acceleration in the R8. I had two reactions, both off camera uh, for the R8. Uh, that's just uh, Murphy's Law, so it is what it is. But without further ado, all right, guys, we're back home. Hopefully you guys, you know, like some of those cars, car spotting here in Bowling Green, Kentucky, because there's not that many exotics. I mean, there's definitely some, obviously. Uh, there's definitely an Aventador floating around, which you may see on the channel here sometime. Um, but let's talk about today's topic. The 2013 Maserati MC. So currently I've been talking to JR Garage about the car. What would happen is, is that would be the fiance's daily driver for the most part. May get another little car or something, you know, to kind of play around with, throw some other miles on. But for the most part, that would be the daily driver. So with that being said, what vehicle would be sold? Um, and that would be the Stinger. The 2018 Kia Stinger GT2 all-wheel drive. Has roughly 10,600 miles on it. Um, I posted on Instagram that it is for sale and that is the reason. So few things have to happen. So the Stinger has to sell, obviously, uh, in order to get the Maserati. Everyone has a budget and we most certainly have a budget. And if that sells and we can come to an agreement on a price, then maybe you'll see the Maserati on the channel. But first, before we go through with all of that, I want to get your guys' opinion because at the end of the day, you guys are the one that watches this content, right? Um, and that's how us YouTubers make the money is you guys supporting us. So would you guys like to see the Maserati on the channel? Obviously, there's plenty of content to do with it. Um, we're still going to have the R8 for a good while. Um, I would say probably a year, year and a half, somewhere in there, we'll still have the R8. So... What do you guys think? Do you guys think we should get the 2013 Maserati MC? Um, everything I've read about it, they're pretty reliable. Uh, obviously, it's rear-wheel drive, which sucks because the Stinger's all-wheel drive, so for winter. But I do live in Bowling Green, Kentucky, which really isn't, like, that bad uh, for winters, but can be here and there. So, I don't know. Uh, as far as the exhaust on it, it's absolutely amazing. I haven't even heard it in person, but I've heard other Maseratis that are X-pipe, straight pipe, near the same thing. Uh, and, I mean, it's just, it's incredible. So that's one really good thing about the car. Um, I don't know. Uh, obviously, cons, some of the maintenance can be kind of expensive, uh, which I do have some news coming in the next video which is gonna be a huge update on the R8 exhaust, which you guys are freaking stoked about. And real quick, sneak peek, maybe something in the works, maybe a purple exhaust, maybe, 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 maybe. We'll see, we'll see, uh, but it has definitely been talked about. I've been talking to uh, another company which did just fix the tire on the Stinger because it had to get patched because there was a nail in it. I will play that footage here just really quick would only take like 30 seconds to a minute so here's that footage so i regretfully inform you there's some good news there's some bad news uh well not bad news for you guys bad news for me uh well and really the fiance <laughs> so really it's not even me it's really the fiance which i guess is me yeah it's me yeah she's looking it's me so anyway the kia stinger uh has a nail in the tire so it's gonna have to get patched so that's the good news it's in the center of the tread it's like a little finishing nail not a big deal but I'm over here at Spartan 4x4. Uh, I'll put their website in the link below. Um, I think you're going to probably see some more stuff between us. Uh, maybe doing some collabing, more to come. But uh, they're going to patch it up for me. They're going to get me taken care of. So let's go ahead and go get it done. I'll show you the nail whenever we get the tire off the car. Let's roll. Whoa. 
That sign is sick. This is their front lobby. Check that out. All right, guys. So we're out here in the shop. Stinger is over there, and the tire is right here. So as you can see, oh, sorry, I got my hand in the way for you guys. The nail is right there, right there. And then if we rotate it over here, you can see uh, right there. Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty good size nail. I mean, yeah, that's pretty good size. So without further ado, they have it up there. They're gonna patch it and I'm gonna get out of their way because I certainly don't know what I'm doing. They're gonna do it and yeah. All right, just like that, we're back. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. It was short, simple, sweet, to the point. Um, so yeah, like I honestly need you guys' help. You know, I need to know, would you guys like to see it? Would you guys tell your friends about it? Would you help try to, you know, grow this channel because of the Maserati? You know, what do you guys want to see? Uh, again, I'm 24 years old owning these cars. So this is something that like, I don't know. I feel like not too many people have done. Obviously JR Garage has done it. Um, Stradman or James, you guys know him. He started his Gallardo when he was 25, I believe. So, I mean, there's things being done out there, but I mean, people seem to like when younger people are owning these type of cars uh, and what we do uh, to own them. So let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna go ahead and end today's video. I know it may not have been the greatest video, but hopefully you guys liked it. Please like, please subscribe. You guys have a great day. See you on the next one. Peace.